our headliner tonight. You're in for a treat. Yeah. I've never seen him before, but I know he's going to kill it. Get up Hopefully. for Raymond A. Cracking, y'all. Hey, it's getting late. It's getting spicy. You know what it is. The most controversial comics in the motherfucking world. Your man, C. Rockabelli, a.k.a. Raymond Days. But they call me C. Rockabelli because you know what? I just stay smoking on something smelly. Anyway, uh, my man was talking about Jesus earlier and uh, I forgot what he said. But let me tell you, as a Mexican-American coming up in this world, I always believe Jesus spoke Spanish, even though they said he was an Israelite or uh, Muhammad or whatever it was. <laughs> My grandma was like, Diosito Santo te va a castigar. I was like, man. And I would look at it, you know, you know, every every immigrant family has that one picture of Jesus in the middle of the room with the heart looking kind of scary, but you like, you picture him talking to you in your language, so every time I see him, he looked Mexican as fuck. Like, like, you know you want that sniff of coke. You take that sniff of coke. And I would look at him like, you got some big nostrils, Jesus. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's my Jesus take. Uh, anybody uh, anybody follow IG hoes? Anybody love IG hoes like I love IG hoes? No? You guys are just being shy. Stop being shy. Anyway, I'm on the timelines the other day, and uh, this shit... This chick, you know, they do the tongues and they do the, the poses and all that shit, but this chick busts out the tongue real cute like that. Don't I look cute? Bitch, don't look at me like that because to me you don't look cute. You look like you want to lick my nuts. And to me, that's the most sexiest thing in the world. You ever look down at a girl and you're, you know, getting fellatio, doing her thing, you look down and she hits you with those eyes and you're like, oh my God. Stop me, I'm gonna fight. No, I'm kinda shy. Uh, what else? Let's see. How many men have been uh how many been how many men have been asked on a date lately and then been rejected? No. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. So this chick this week, she hits me up on Monday like, hey, I know I've uh, I know I've uh, dissed you on a few lunch dates and this and that. How about we meet up on Saturday? Like, cool, great. And for us men, you know, if a woman asks you on a date, you fuck. She tells you what's a certain date, you like, fuck. Woo, Saturday, tear up that pussy. I'm gonna hit that shit good. Saturday, you text that bitch. You call that bitch. You don't get shit. Eight o'clock comes around. Oh, uh, I got the flu. What do you mean it's the summer? Oh, well. I got a case of the measles. You know it's going around, right? Fuck <laughs> yeah. measles, I guess. Well, you know my, my sister has polio. Like, it's contagious. Like, shit, ain't nobody had it. polio since Eisenhower. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you guys with this last one. Uh, you guys know what they call the, Mex uh, the Mexican condom? No. Foreskin. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. You guys are great. See you the belly. You know I stay smoking something smelly. Shout out to the host. Check out my podcast, Dad Dreams Radio, YouTube, Organic Unity. Shout out to my man Short. Oh, rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. Thank you for saying that. All right. Give it up. Give it up. That's, what's up. That's what I call a fucking headliner, dude. Fucking A. Thank you guys for coming out tonight. If you're in here and I didn't call your name, that means I called it earlier and you didn't say anything, so I'm sorry if that happened.